Good morning, WLA friends. Good to be with you this morning. I hope and pray that you and your families are remaining spiritually, emotionally, and physically well during this time. Our devotion this morning is based off of Psalm of David, Psalm 30, and we're going to look at verses 1 to 3, which reads, I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths and did not let my enemies gloat over me. Lord, my God, I called to you for help and you healed me. You, Lord, brought me up from the realm of the dead. You spared me from going down to the pit. As a kid, I loved building forts. Growing up in the foothills of Colorado gave me the opportunity to go out and explore with my friends different areas. Whether it was down by Buckhorn Creek or up on the mountainside, we enjoyed creating, designing, and building forts. But our very favorite fort that we ever built was in my own backyard. It was an underground fort. Uh, we dug a hole about five feet deep, six feet across. Then we built a, a tunnel down into that hole. Then we covered the hole with boards and plywood and plastic and put dirt over the top of it so you wouldn't even notice that there was a fort there. We even put carpet down in the, the bottom of that fort. As time went on, we made other little improvements. One improvement that we tried to make was installing a fireplace. So we dug out a little cubby in the side of that fort and we found a clay pipe and uh, we thought that would ventilate uh, the smoke out. And so one cold fall day, we fired up that fireplace and the smoke did not go out of that clay pipe. Uh, we did not design it correctly for airflow. And the bottom of the fort started to fill up with smoke. But my friend and I, we stayed down in there. We were not going to be the ones uh, chickening out and being the first to say, oh, let's uh, come on out of here. Uh, but fortunately, our neighbor across the way saw smoke rising up out of this fort and called up my dad. My dad came down and said, boys, come on up out of there. And he reached down his hand and asked for the matches and he pulled us up out of that fort. I think about that a lot as an adult today. I wonder what would have happened if uh, my friend and I would have stayed down in that fort. Uh, would we have passed out from the smoke? Uh, or even worse. That incident also reminds me of these verses that David talks about. Uh, specifically, verse 1, where he says, I will exalt you, Lord, for you lifted me out of the depths. David wasn't necessarily referring to physically being pulled out of an underground fort. Uh, he was talking about spiritually being lifted up. And you know what? Sin does a lot like what that smoke did to us in that underground fort. Slowly creeps in around you and uh, succumbs you and maybe you don't even realize just what danger you're in. And then God in his graciousness uh, provides a way out, whether it's through his word or through a Christian friend, a teacher, pastor, Christian parent. There is his gracious hand reaching out to you saying, hey, come out of that sin. Uh, there's, there's a better way. There's a forgiven way through Christ. You know, whether it's uh, in our own lives, thinking about the, the pattern of sin that we maybe have developed and seeing God's hand at work, or living through a pandemic and seeing God's grace uh, abundant and bringing people closer to him, uh, each and every one of us can thank God for the grace that he shows us. Uh, that sin that would so entangle us and ensnare us and want us to be brought down to the pits of hell has been destroyed and taken care of through Jesus Christ. And there is his hand saying, hey, come with me. You are now my redeemed child of God. Let's pray. Dear Lord, uh, we admit there are times where sin ensnares us and traps us. Thank you for uh, showing us your grace, putting out your hand and pulling us out of that trap of sin. Lord, we pray that if any of us are in a trap of sin right now, that you uh, demonstrate that grace through your word, through a Christian friend, parent, or teacher. 
Help us to see that grace. Uh, bring us out of that sin and into your wonderful light as a redeemed child of God. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.